thank you Chad and Jenny for a fun weekend. It's very important to support the Lead the Way Foundation um, because without your support, we would not be able to do these things um, on such a massive scale. Sometimes we forget the, the stories that are happening in people's lives around us. And so I think just this foundation recognizes people who are going through struggles. I think it helps remind us that we're, uh, we all share sort of humanity. People just give and just know that they're giving to people that, you know, can just use a pick-me-up every once in a while and can just use a sense of normalcy. And a lot of families don't have the means and the ability to go out and do these kinds of things because they're in the hospital or they have uh, kids with limited mobility. Yeah, this can be a very isolating experience um, when, you're, when you're going through this as a family. It puts the seed of hope in people that is, that's no small thing, you know, um, feel like hope and joy. We could all use more of that. Just thank you. It's amazing. To the foundation, to Chad and his family, to all of you guys, thank you very much. We made a bucket list for Jacob last year, um, going on a Ferris wheel, going on a carousel. And the trouble that we had before is that nobody would let him go on. So. Having the park to ourselves this morning let us check that off of his list and it was really cool. We're trying to fund different things and, and help more, more people out all while still pushing the programs we've always had. The locker program we're trying to add to that. Always still having a camp, feel the dreams, tender heart luncheon. So keeping our core things but growing everything else and trying to make uh, new events. Finished. Good job. <laughs> said go Vikes. <laughs> oh. Go Vikes, yeah. <laughs>